Back here at home, elections administrators are now preparing for voters to cast their ballots during a pandemic. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez reports. There are some voters who fear going to the polls because of the pandemic. If the courts allow them to request a ballot by mail, preparation for election administrators in the Valley will come down to ballots, storage, personnel, and safety. Mail-in ballots in Texas are reserved for people 65 and older, who are disabled, or in jail but otherwise eligible. A lawsuit filed in Austin is seeking to allow those afraid of contracting the virus at the polls the chance to vote by mail. A court sided with them, but an appeal is going to be filed. Until a decision is clearly marked, counties are left dealing with this hanging chad. Will they need more absentee ballots for July's election? So many of our uh, community members are used to going to the poll location. So what will happen? Um, it's, it's still up in the air. We, we don't have the answer. Yvonne Ramon, Hidalgo County's election administrator, says some mail-in ballots are left over. We had 12 uh, elections that were postponed, so those mail-in ballots for the primary runoff and for those uh, 11 elections uh, weren't used, so we're ready. Hidalgo will be sending 4,000 ballots by mail to voters who requested them on an annual basis. If they need more, they can print them in-house. Cameron County outsources their printing. Remy Garza, their elections administrator, says they're already preparing for an increase in demand. We've doubled uh, what we budget for that, um, you know, meaning that we normally would expect to see 3,000 uh, ballot by mail. We're, we're preparing for 6,000 uh, at this stage. But we also have uh, the ability to increase that. They have a higher capacity. Uh, so they can adjust more quickly than, than we could do internally. Garza says outsourcing to third-party vendors can be advantageous because of their mass mailing techniques. Star County also solicits those services, but there are no current plans to request a larger order. As we get applications, we start ordering more and more, but we do have enough, and um, and I don't see a big turnout on this one because uh, I, I don't, there's no um, uh, local races in the, this runoff. If they print more, they'll also need climate control storage. Another logistical problem they're having is how to prepare the polling sites. I just got off the phone right now with uh, an internal uh, briefing for department heads that we have every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's the same response. There are no uh, wipes, uh, Clorox, Lysol. There are no sprays, disinfectant sprays anywhere, anywhere. So we're learning how to make our own. We're learning. Uh, the different avenues that are out there for us. Cameron County may require hand sanitation before and after voting. All counties are concerned with social distancing, not just for voters, but poll workers who are typically older and could be more vulnerable to illness. Hidalgo says they're already calling volunteers up to ask who will be helping at the polls come July. All administrators want is to know what to do now. We need to um, prepare. And, and anticipate and, you know, find personnel and, uh, you know, find larger spaces to process uh, this, these applications or additional uh, ballots that are going to be returned. Um, you know, time is the one commodity we can't get back. The faster the decision comes, the smaller the negative impact they hope voters will see. We also asked Star County about voter fraud. John Rodriguez tells us that they will continue to be vigilant, looking for any discrepancies in applications and report them. In Hidalgo, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News.